kind of like the ancient times when they used, you know, the sun and, you know, some sort of, you yeah. know, triangle or something to, to uh, see, like, whenever the sun moved, what time of the day was. And right. Exactly. That's when we started getting our, our perspective or, you know, our idea of time. And I think throughout ages and generations, people have, you know, had different ideas of time, I think, you know, because in the Bible, it said people live to like a thousand but I don't know what 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 reference did, did they have. Like, why did humans want to create the idea of time? The function of time is it's a measurement. Like you were saying with the sundial, it originated with the measurement of the sun, which if you break that down philosophically, it, the sun is a light source coming from the sky that is casting these black things we call shadows in a certain pattern every single day, what we call days. The thing is, it's not exactly perfectly equal. But the sundial that is based on makes it appear as if it were equal, right? Each day, because the shadow moves in a consistent pattern. So in that sense, it measures a shadow moving on an object made of stone. When you break it down to the most abstract or concrete concepts, I guess, then it's like, okay, that's kind of weird. But then, of course, now me and you can say we use time to measure I guess measure change, like Aristotle, I think, said, like, time is a measurement of change. It's a measurement of change, right? A change in shadows, a change in, in us moving around. Like we have work schedules. You, you have a schedule each week that we go by. You know, how did people figure out a year had 365 days? Yeah, exactly. How did people figure out? I guess, you know, they, they just studied the stars, you know. Is it all just in my mind? Because... If you really break it down like we did earlier, it's just a shadow. It's just shadows moving in certain patterns each, what we call days. And I, I too, I'm like, yeah, like what you're saying, like how the hell did we figure out there's 365 days in a year? We create, did we create that? You know, but then there's seasons. There's winter, there's summer, there's spring, and that's a consistent pattern. And yeah, the year is you know a that? rough oh, measurement of that. December, this is when, but you know how people say, oh, well, December or the, the cold came in late this year or something or or it came too early yeah. you know there's fluctuations people have you know probably developed ways of sending satellites into the space into space to measure where we're actually going within the sun's circumference and so that's maybe how we've been able to pinpoint a little bit deeper the tilt of the earth and you know all of that information that we get taught in school a lot of these measurements are relative how do we know that time is not relative either and yeah. if it is relative, then, you know, that just opens a lot of doors because, you know, thinking about parallel universes or time, you know, fluctuates and changes in those areas. Like, you know, the, mo the movie Interstellar, when they mo went to a different planet, time just moved slower there. But uh, a second there or, or a couple minutes there was like 10 years back at home. That idea of like time being different. So does it also depend on the, the mass gravitational field curves space and time so in some sense you know gravity the stronger the gravity then it can slow down time so gravity affects time in some way if you're in a certain area in space time can flow differently slower or faster 